Welcome to this channel. In this tutorial, we will design a single stage FET common source amplifier with a potential divider circuit using a 2N481 FET N channel with following specification. Now, to determine the minimum drain source voltage, VDS min is equal to VP max plus 1 minus VGS which is equal to 13 plus 1 minus 2 which is equal to 12 volt. We need to calculate the voltage across the source and you can see this calculation on this tutorial. Now we must also determine the voltage across the gate. Do the calculation accordingly as shown in this video. Next select the value of R2 as 1 mega ohm we can also calculate the value of R1 now let us design the common source amplifier circuit click on place select component select component pop-up appears in group select transistor and select 2N4861 transistor and select OK and place the component in the schematic capture window. Now we must place the resistor, capacitor and a voltage source. Select basic in the group and in family section select resistor. Select the R1 value of the component as 5.1 and click OK and place the resistor in the schematic capture. Now place the resistor R2. Select the value of resistor as 6.34 kilo ohm and click OK and place the resistor in the schematic. Next select the source in the group and select power sources in the family and then select VDD and click on OK. Place the VDD on the schematic and change the value of VDD to 24 volt. Join the VDD to the terminal of R1 and R2 resistor. Now place a bogus DC voltage source of 0 volts. This would not affect the circuit operation but provides a convenience to measure the current values. To place a dummy voltage, click on place source and select DC power. Click OK and place it on the schematic. Double click and change the value to 0 volt. Connect the resistor R1 to V1. Now click on component and select group as basic and select the capacitor and select the capacitor value as 10 micro. Click OK and place this capacitor in the schematic capture. Next click on resistor and select the R3 component value as 1 kilo ohm. Click OK and place this on the schematic. Connect R3 to capacitor C1 and the C1 to the gate terminal of FET. Connect other end of V1 to the capacitor C1.
click on place source and place a dummy voltage source V2. Next, click on place resistor and select the value of resistor R4 as 1 mega ohm and click OK. Similarly, we must place the resistor R5 and the value of resistor will be 6.3 kilo ohm and then place on capacitor C2 and the value of capacitor will be 100 microfarad. Rotate the capacitor, press Ctrl plus R. Similarly, select the value of capacitor C3 as 10 microfarad and place this on the schematic and the value of resistor R6 as 1 kilo ohm and place the resistor on the schematic capture. the voltage source V2 to capacitor C1 and V2 to resistor R4. The source terminal of FET will be connected to resistor R5 and the capacitor C2. Next, click on place source and select DC power and Click OK. This is the dummy voltage source between VDD and the drain of the FET. Connect the drain to the capacitor C3 and C3 to the resistor R6. The resistor R6 capacitor C2, resistor R5 and resistor R4 is connected to the ground. Click on place source and select the AC power and click OK. Double click on AC power and change the value of voltage volt and frequency to 1000 Hz and AC magnitude to 1 volt. Connect the AC power to R3 resistor and the negative terminal to AC power and to the R4 resistor. Click on place source and select the ground. Now we must place the ground connection. Click on place source and select the ground. Click on OK and place the ground in the schematic. Now click on oscilloscope and place this oscilloscope on the schematic. The positive terminal of channel A is connected to the AC power and the positive terminal of channel B is connected to the resistor and the capacitor C3.
the ground and connect the negative terminal of channel A and channel B to the ground connection. In order to perform the input versus output simulation on the oscilloscope, click on run button. Then double click on oscilloscope and adjust the scale of time base to 1 millisecond and the channel A to 1 millivolt per division and channel B to 5 millivolt per division. Once we simulate the input versus output waveform, next we must perform the DC operating point. Stop the simulation and now to perform the DC operating point, click on simulate, select analysis and select simulation as DC operating point. Select all the voltage variable and click on run. Now you can see the DC operating point for this particular circuit. Now to perform the DC analysis, select the active analysis as DC sweep and the value of source VDD where the start value to be 0 volt, stop value to be 5 volt and the increment value to be 0 0.5 volts. Now click on output and select the variable as VC5 and click on the run button in order to plot the DC characteristics. Thank you for watching this tutorial. For more such videos, subscribe to my channel below.